My name is Ross Moses, and I'm a herbalist. What it does is to take extracts from plants and add different portions of plants for medicinal properties for people that got different ailments. I born November 24th, 1943, Barbados, St. Lucie. Tuesday afternoon at 3 o'clock, that's what my mom told me. <laughs> and I believe her. <laughs> In those days, the people didn't have no washing machines or nothing like that. So my mother had to go down to the spring and wash the clothes. So while she was in the spring washing clothes, she had the baby right there. The midwife coming had the baby. That's what she told me. So I born by a spring. And that's why I live in, in the land by a spring also. I was about 14 years old. And my dad wanted me to go to, uh, at the time they didn't have electricity in my area. So we used to use like gas lamps. So he wanted me to go to the drugstore to get the, the gas to light the, stock, the lamp. But I, I disobeyed him and went to the beach. And on my way to the beach, I fell down and dislocated my right ankle. And he refused to come. So my mom had to come and take me to the hospital. And the reason why he didn't come, he said, because they disobeyed him. And when I went to the cave, I tell myself, you know what? If you disobey your earthly father and look at the severe, how severe that punishment would be, what if you disobey your heavenly father? So then I started to get closer to realize who God was and my purpose in earth and what it has to do with my mission and why I was born and why I got to be doing these things. And I get a joy out of it because it makes people happy and more comfortable and it shows me that, look, listen, you are a very important man on this earth. You have a mission to accomplish. And your mission is to get extracts from plants, listen to people's ailments, and try to help them. Money or no money, just do it. And I kept doing it. And today, it has become very, very, very important. When I went to the cave, I was about in my 30s, 30, 30, about around 30 to 35 years old. The environment, the quietness of the environment, and the opportunity it has to deal with plants, it was like a lab then. It was like a lab I was in. And I get to learn a lot of plants. Uh, I recognize something that my grandmother tell me about when I was a boy. Uh, before he was a mechanical engineer, but uh, that became obsolete. And by living in the cave, I get the meditation, how to deal with other plants, and to understand the medicinal properties, and how to use them for people that got different ailments. I first met Moses about 50 years ago, as a young, as a young boy. He was much older than I. Okay. And He's into um, assisting people in terms of their health. But my real meeting Moses was when I met him in the woods. That's uh, a place we call it Choice. It has uh, wonderful caves. It has excellent, good, wholesome running water that's uncontaminated. And the breeze is just fresh breeze. He, he, would, he would leave the woods, prepare medication, and go and donate them to people. Even in hospitals, he would do it. There was no reward for it. I've educated Moses on basic hand washing techniques, which is important, and also how to sanitize. And his storage of his products, of his, of his finished products, I also take care of that. I go to Moses and I take tonics. I'm not sick as such, right? But they, they are better than what we call the normal soft drinks. They are better than alcoholic drinks. I go, I go to Moe's for general, general, you know, boosters, things to make me feel good like in terms of just give my body a different pH, give my body, my body a different pH, and, and um, exercise, exercise it. So they're not, they're not actually medicines as such for me, they're mostly tonics. So I recognize the plants in the hill, so then I start to deal with them. And they become a part of my family, because that's a family in itself, because it's kingdoms, so that's the plant kingdom. And I'm the human kingdom, so I was corresponding myself with the plant kingdom for them to teach me things that I will require in my work. I learned these things gradually, and then the plants start revealing things to me. So I was getting visions all the time, and I remember resident vision and look for the reality. And I see the reality up to this present moment. So I used the herbs that I knew about that I think that would have uh, helped, and they did help. Herbs like aloe, turmeric, uh, wonder world, things like that, you know. But after I did that, then people asking me about herbs a lady i remember all it now a lady she uh, had a problem with her period uh, excessive period 
and I give her a concoction and it regulated. And then she tells the person that's about what I was doing with a similar pl uh, complaint and that was regulated also. One of the people I did with was a man called Ronald Toppin. He was a, a lawyer at the time and I did, I did also that with Mr. Owen Arthur. I gave him herbs already. He came up in his in, in Cape where he lived. He's the only Prime Minister I ever went up there. This was very good. And uh, he came up there and uh, he had herbs for me and everything. My problem was a prostate problem. I had been visiting a urologist for over about, I would say, four or five years. Um, I had actually had surgery for the condition, but I was still experiencing problems as a result. The urologist was giving me medication, but it didn't work. So it was during this time, a little while after I had this problem, that my sister-in-law introduced me to RAS. So I came and discussed with him what the problem was. He said, I'd like to fix you up. So he put me on a regimen of herb, herbs. Don't ask me what they were. I know some of them, but I don't know all of them. And he said that will, um, that will help with your situation. So this is when I went to Ras and Ras gave me his, medic his herbal portion. And um, what Ras was giving me served in helping me to have the kind of health that I now have. My, 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 line, my line of life is a positive example. And the example is universal. And a lot of people become becoming conscious of health in these times. A lot of people become that they realize that their life has value. And if you don't put your life into good, use the good values that life gives, it's a waste of time being here. I used to go in the pasta, where all the cows and things be grazing, and I would sit down, close my eyes, and I would grab my hand full of herbs. I would go to the spring, I would wash them, and just eat all of them. Just like that, I don't know the names of them. But then what I would check to see how they make me feel. And then I would go and I would individualize them and see which one I could recognize. And then I would use it some on, on daily portions. Some of them make me feel like uh, we're energetic. Some of them make me feel like we're relaxed. Some of them make me feel like I sharp my appetite. Different, different, different ways they have me feeling. So I would individualize. If this one make me feel like appetite, then I know a person that has a very small appetite, then I can give them that to sort of boost the appetite. And this one will be telling me, oh, if a person got a cold, then I can give them that one that would assist in the cold, which is something to build immune system. If this one, I would say, okay, this one is like, okay, this one is like, we carry a swellings. So then I would do an extract from that and use it as an oil for swellings. I dealt with numbers of people with prostate cancer, with prostate, not prostate cancer, enlargement, prostate enlargement. Some of the guys was uh, like, when they passed water, they was getting like blood, and they got that stopped. Some of them was passing water frequently. I got that uh, balance. Some of them was, didn't, didn't want to pass water much at all, a blockage. So the redness and turmeric in that area is very good. First thing I did, take them off alcohol and cigarettes, men. Alcohol and cigarettes. And uh, a sort of a diet where it is, is alkaline diet and a more, a, a food that is more like a diuretic, like cucumbers and things like that. And uh, yeah, and I have also a medicine that is built, is engineered by uh, herbs like gully root. This plant right here is something called the Damiana, uh, the Wonder World. Thirsty bush, the, the extracts from the noni, and the botanical name for the noni is Miranda citrifolia. I get the, uh, the fruit from an area where there's no chemical, there's no chemical spread or nothing like that. And I wash them and I got glass containers. And what I do is I put them in the glass containers, seal it properly, and put them in the sun. What the sun does is to penetrate through the glass and create a heat within there, and it give off the juices. Then I strain it carefully and bottle it. So there's no additives, no water, nothing is added to it. 
and that is the tonic from the noni, which is I call it a, I call it a fruit supplement, and that also could assist in diabetes. It also could assist in poor blood circulation, water retention, and uric acid, which is some similarities of gout. It also resist, assists in uh, high blood pressures, high cholesterol, and high blood sugars. So that same tonic, that same tonic can work as energy and immune builder, and it can also assist in insomnia, and it can also assist in diabetes type 1 and 2. It's energy. It's more, I think everybody should have one of the plants in, in their yard for real. It's so, it has so many properties. The, uh, the root, you can make a tonic, you can make tonics from different parts of it for different purposes. The root make a good aphrodisiac, seriously speaking, with other herbs. Uh, the, the, uh, the fruit of itself makes a good tonic for the, uh, the, the blood, the complete body, energize the body, build the immune system, help you to rest better, and remove fatigue, things like that. And the leaves now has anti-inflammatory properties, so you can put the leaves in with the with the, with the, uh, the extracts from the fruit and get some, uh, some, a different type of tonic. Women, the tonic for women is more from the noni than the men because the women has a, a, a cycle and you got to be very careful when you give women uh, herbs, especially in tonics because it could cause excessive bleeding, you know, from the period and things like that. So the men tonic is different to the women tonic. The main tonic is more, uh, 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 more stimulant, uh, more stimulant. The women one is a more relaxing and balancing the hormones and stuff like that. And the only do does all that. The only balance the hormones. Uh, the only also help you to rest better, balance your appetite. And they also remove fatigue. It also help you to assist you in, in funny thinking because we think it's funny sometimes because it's not to be that until we get the real answer. Then you know. And the only also help you to uh, energize you. This leaf right here is another leaf. This is a leaf from the noni plant again. This leaf has anti-inflammatory properties. And the, I use the extracts from it to make an oil with other ingredients. But the most positive way to use it is to put the oil on the leaf. Put it over the stove to get warm a little bit. The reason why you warm it up is to everything. The oil is in here that will blend with the oil you put on it. And then you burn it on the area where you're getting the pain. You burn it on like that and leave it on. Within a half an hour, you can feel it, put it like a magnet. And then if you leave it on overnight, next morning, the leaf can be black and wet. That means that if there's any toxic or pollution in the area, as anti-inflammatory, it works as like a magnet, it pulls it out. Years ago, when people worked in the fields, and the hot burning sun, this has got the leaves in the hat. So that the sun will penetrate through to their brain. And these was like shields. You can also do it with the uh, with the uh, the castor oil plant too. That has all those anti-inflammatory uh, plants. The fanzi panji is another uh, another this one right here. That's another anti-inflammatory plant. And the cane lily right here, which is pine. If you look at the cane lily root, you will see it look like a man's penis. So it's aphrodisia. We use it as aphrodisia. The coconut root now is positive. Don't kill dirty the blood is. The coconut root will cleanse the blood. Serious. And baby's first food, apart from mother's breast milk, should be that soft jelly. That is easy to digest. And it's calcium, good minerals for the body. As a matter of fact, most of my... Uh, uh, internal and external uh, concoctions like my uh, skin conditioners is based from sea moss. Good iodine. When you put iodine on your skin in that form, it heals the wounds. I have been taking Ross's products now for at least five years. And it's just certain ones, the detox in particular, um, because it's, a, it's quite a bit of a cleanser. And when I do take it, and it's natural, it, it uh, impacts the body in, th in a very natural way, so there's no griping of the stomach or any disturbances of headaches or anything of that sort. It just naturally occurs, and it 
make it kind of clears my mind and I can feel very differently after I do it. And there's no limit on life. No person is supposed to die at no 20 and 30. And the youths today, if they don't get the right edification, they're going to pass away early because the foods that they eat and all this other popcorn and all this other corn curds and all this other junk, they're going to have the disease that all parents have when they were 16 and 70. They're going to have those disease at 20 and 30. You got used to that as diabetics at 20 and 30. So if you can get all the all complementary organs of the body cleansed, then you got a, a, a better feeling in your body because the body has a language also. And it speaks through the nervous system and pains. Pain is only temporary. But when the body speaks, it's telling you that something's going wrong to correct it. But before you correct it, I allow the body to see if it can heal itself because the body has only self-healing properties. So sometimes the body will be so weak and the defense where your immune system is concerned, you need to assist it with something so it can heal itself. And the first thing I would do is to cleanse the liver because the liver takes on all the toxic. And that's why people should not eat animal livers because they eat them toxic. So when you cleanse the liver, you can see the difference on the skin, which is the largest organ that covers the, the complete body. And you can see the differences in your vision, the eyesight the vision will be different. Your appetite going to rise, you can get rest, you can feel all the fatigue will be gone, and you can feel completely balanced within your mind and your body. Another thing with that, they need to be exercised because you cannot eat and just sit down. You don't see animals eat and sit down. When animals eat, they stretch and walk. We don't do that. We sit down and lay around because, and, the, and then the blood becomes sluggish and lazy. So there's no life in the, in the blood. So because the life of the flesh is the blood. And if the life, which is the blood, is deteriorated because of uh, different, different, uh, different, what I would say, uh, impurities, then the body is unstabilized. So what we do is keep the bloodstream pure. And to keep the bloodstream pure, you've got to eat natural foods, natural food. Not pure foods, natural foods. Because pure foods and natural foods are two different things. I would call canned foods pure food. But I would call natural foods is like what God create and we pick from the tree and put it in our body. I call that natural. Because we are natural, so we need a natural substance to maintain our natural ways of life. I went to Mozart for my daughter, Shaquilla. She had a problem with her skin, I guess, with the mosquitoes and the sand flies. She's actually allergic to them. As soon as she gets bite, they will wheel up. You get these really dark marks on her skin that were, they were awful. Um, I took her to doctors. They were on antibiotics, antibiotics, and they said, I know that is not good enough for them. Too much antibiotics. So Rasmus then told me, you know, change her diet. From then, we started to detox her body. And we went to using the lotions and clean up, and he it did a really good job. Anything bothers him, call Rasmus. I don't like the doctor, call Rasmus. <laughs> Everything for him is Rasmus. Mose, call Mose. My head hurts me, call Mose. My belly hurts me, call Mose. <laughs> Everything is call Mose. And whatever he gives him, he has no problem taking it. Uh... Like, they got people, I had dealt with people that has sores, they call them light sores, sores that they have them over years and never heal. And uh, the body started deteriorating, and the, the hospital would want to amputate them. And I said, no, no, we ain't doing that. I changed the debt, changed up the debt, made them change the debt completely. Uh, get a lot of the acid of the body. And uh, what I do is I mix uh, the bamboo tree, I take the bamboo leaves, and I roast them the green one, roast them into a powder with nutmeg and turmeric and make it into a fine powder. I also roast them with uh, the, the, the uh, martellini berries when they dry and roast them into a fine powder. When I sprinkle it on the, on the, on the element, it forms like something called peroxide that we used to use in back times. And it, it sort of like lifts the rotten flesh out and then leave a, a red, like a, you know, and that red is showing me that the blood has come to the surface, which is the life. And that's, the awareness is showing me that healing processes is on the way. I make other ones too for like, uh, in, in the form of oils. People that got dislocated joints and uh, sprains and uh, things, rheumatism, things like that, arthritis, things like that. I also make something, I, got, I also make something from the uh, ethanol, which is extracts from, the, from plants. And that is something you spray on that will remove pain within 10 minutes time. What it does, 
if the blood is sagging there, it causes the blood to become thin and it flows through the vein. You see the blood, the vein rises right up and the swelling goes right down and the pain is being submerged. I also got an oil too, which is the extracts from the, uh, the noni leaves because the noni leaves have anti-inflammatory properties. I made that oil with the noni leaves and uh, different sages, cayenne pepper, aloe, and things like that. And that oil will assist in swellings and joint pains and even skin problems. I also got something for hair problems, people like that, the falling hair. Uh, and falling hair comes from poor blood circulation because the body is, is connected to everything. If your hair is falling from the back, it's showing you that some, one of your complementary organs is in trouble. It may be your lungs, your liver, or something. If it's falling from the side, it's showing that one organ is, the connection is, is, is not linked properly. So it's not getting the full flow of life to it. So that place becomes like dominant dead. So what it does, I give some person something to cleanse the complete body, cleanse out the body, cleanse the waist out, blood, prefer the blood, and an oil, special oil to massage your hair with. Coconut oil is very good, and castor oil. I also do the extracts from the castor oil seeds to get the natural castor oil, because castor oil is a very serious oil. It's the only oil that penetrates deep into your skin. Coconut oil goes on the surface, but castor oil goes right in, right to the bone. Serious, for real. I mean the black castor oil. And we've got a lot of castor oil plants here in Barbados, that they cut them down um, and, 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 and they do nothing about them and we can make our own cast soil in Barbados, right? Another thing too, the gooseberries. People have got different types of cancer and the cancer now is running to the lymph nodes. The gooseberries is the one that we remove and clear the lymph nodes, for real. Everything is here. Everything is where we got to know and how to deal with it. Asthma, some kids born with it hereditary, some kids inherit it from their parents. And that is the most difficult one to deal with rather than if you get it differently. But uh, that's diet again. Cow's milk, condensed milk, all the kind of dairy products, it builds up a lot of mucus in the body. And when the body cannot get rid of the mucus, that is inflammation. Inflammation in the area where it is that it causes your lungs not to work properly. And your lungs, if they're not working properly, then you will get all this added back up. And that's all because of constipation also. But what I do is to, uh, I speak about that, and I will ask the question if they're passing water frequently, if they're stooling properly, or they waste back up in the body. And if, they, if, if, if those things do not free up, then I will recommend to cleanse the complete body, a deep cleansing. This cleanse would cleanse the, uh, the bronchial tubes, the, uh, the urine tract, the, the intestines, and everything like that. But uh, I would recommend a tea that has a stimulant. Cayenne is a very serious uh, herb for uh, like a person with asthma. And uh, we got something that's called the, uh, the, pump, the trumpet bush, which has been probably called uh, propaganda. That is a very, that's very good for asthma. Circe bush also. And uh, different types of sages, like the red sage. In the hills where they lived, they had a sage called the yellow sage. And in, when you're using sages, sages has like a roughish on it. So that roughage is a form of cleansing. And what it does, it cleanses all the, all the mucous membranes and then the, the, through the extremities, the waste comes out. With exercise and perspiration from exercising, helps relieve the body of all its toxins. It's only built up toxin in the body. And another thing I would recommend for that is the extracts from the, uh, the calabash leaves and the fruit, the extracts from the calabash fruit. But you've got to pick it when it's ripe and put it down till it turns yellow and then you do the extracts from that, which is a sweet sort of uh, taste, uh, slightly acidic but sweet. And that is good to cleanse the, uh, the, the, the tubes, your tonsils and everything like that. The grapes, the sea grapes you got here. If your kids use that as a medicine, they would never have asthma. Never. Never. Serious. And even our sweet potato, all you got to do is to get the sweet potato, grind it up in your bullet, Extract the juice and give it to the youth for asthma. Positively gone again. It's very serious. But the biggest problem is to remove the, the, uh, the toxic from the waste. The highs, the extremities, the eliminating organs, clear. You're supposed to be able to pass water free. And if you use a lot of sugars and different uh, crystals, it causes crystals in the urinary tract. And they become like stones. Uh, Some of them are going to pee because of the shape of the crystal. 
it brings blood from the inside of the penis. And you can think that's something wrong, but it's just that the, it, the, the shape of the crystal tore the, the membranes and caused blood. So what we give them is something called margarine and thyme. And thyme and margarine demolish the stone into a powder and we pass it out. It looks like you're paying out milk, but it's just the stone that has been demolished. I first came across him here at Holders and it was um, became more of a, uh, a, a better connection when my niece, who is a to cancer victim who recovered, she used a lot of alternative medicines as part of her cure. And when she came out to visit us, uh, I got in touch with Ras Moses and um, uh, it went on from there. She did a series of programs on her website which meant having interviews with him and I learned a lot of about the alternative sources of uh, um, uh, goodness that you can get from plants without having to be involved with drugs and uh, it, it, I've kept up the association and I, I started taking noni and I feel good when I drink noni and uh, Ras uh, uh, Moses has a great way of producing it it tastes good it's not bitter it's um, he seems to know exactly the right time to harvest it and to uh, to to create the, the the liquor that it is I just feel good I don't take anything else in life so I, I quite like the idea of taking something which is natural and healthy so, um, I was diagnosed with uh, high blood pressure about five years ago and I've, I've, had to, I've been able to come off the tablets completely. My blood pressure is now at a, 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 good, a good rate. and My lifestyle hasn't changed too much otherwise. It's just been the addition of that, really. All human beings function actually on the same thing, right? They function what they see, what they hear, on their senses, what they see, what they hear, what they think, what they feel. Now, if a person comes to me with a problem, they ain't even got to tell me what the problem is. As they come to me to talk to me, I'd be looking at them, and I'm not looking at them because they're pretty or beautiful or not. I'm looking at them to, to see exactly what is going on with them. And I will look for in the eyes, and then if you see like certain things, like marks, you know, like red marks in the eyes and things like that, I will know then that the, around the eyes, you probably ain't getting good blood circulation. And then I will look for puffiness under the eyes, and that show me you need rest. I will also look for feebleness in your movements, and I will know then that the body needs more stabilizing. I will also look for uh, the way they talk. And some people have emotional ailments. And then uh, when I do that, then they ask them a question. Uh, are you passing water properly? Are you stooling properly? What is your debt? Things like that. And according to what they tell me, when I, when I ask them the questions, I'm hearing the answer in my head at the same time. How oh, is that wonderful? I'm here to answer my head at the same time. And sometimes they even tell them things that is going on with them that the doctor tell them. And they wonder, how do you know that? And you make the doctor. It's just that, in my observation, these things reveal themselves to me. Sometimes I got people, the problem before they come to me, I feel their ailments in my body. I be telling Maureen something yesterday. I can't understand, I got a headache. It don't really be me. But then the next 20 minutes or the next day, some person come to me, Moses, man, I got a very serious headache. A very severe headache. I would ask him, are you drinking enough water? Oh no. The body is being dehydrated. Put water called is about 89% water. And when the water level lowers, the acid rises. And the acid is irritation. So you can get irritation, which is like aches and pains, and, and that's the form of the membranes being attacked. And that's when the noni comes in again, because the membranes is the covering with the cells. And if the membranes is being dismantled, then the toxic or the, or, the, or the pollution gets into the cells and deteriorate the cells and that's when premature aging starts. If we can maintain the cells, we look young all the time. But deterioration of cells is premature, as a stage of premature aging. And that comes from bad debt, no rest, aggravation and confusion. And let's pray. And we've got to pray all the time. Prayer is a necessity. Prayer is the main key in this situation because we've got to ask the, the universe for the wisdom the understanding and the knowledge, Jamaican is saying knowledge, which is right. Knowledge and not knowledge, knowledge. And we've got to have that. And to get this, we must pray. We must pray. And prayer is a defense. Prayer can heal things. 
Yeah. All you need to add to prayer is faith, which is the substance of things hoped for not seen. So you've got to bring it into reality. And what I would really love to see, not only Barbados, the world actually, humanity. I would love to see the living and the way that the, that the universe ordained us to live in natural, in truth, in peace, in love, and tranquility. I would love that. But it has to start with, it got to start. It, it, it must start together. And to me, it's a good example for the youths. My, 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 my dedication is for the youths, actually, though. Because, like I said, the youths don't really have a foundation. I met youths that didn't even know that nuts grew under the ground. They thought it used to grow on a tree. I mean, all grown nuts. I met youths that don't even know that aloe is good for, if you get a cut. And I hear a lot of youths. Enough use, enough, especially guys that play football and get uh, dislocated joints and sprains and different. I have a lot of use for no money. No money because use cannot pay me. I give it to them for free because it's theirs. I'm only here to show them what it's all about. So the use, I give them that. I had a vision years ago, about 30 something years ago, that I had this clinic and a school, a lot of land, and I was growing all the plants. And I was wearing this white gown. <laughs> and people was just coming in my clinic and going out. And then I had people staying in. They, they get healed very quick. So that vision excited me a lot, though, because I believe in my visions, you understand? Because there is no vision, people perish. And it excited me a lot. That was about 30 something years ago. And I'm looking for the reality. And this is very patient to wait from all that years to see it. And right now, I think I'm on the borderline of getting to that point. But that's why I'm very careful and very diligent with my search and what I'm dealing with. And I'm very patient with what I'm dealing with also so that it'll be more concentrated. So it will leave, the legacy I will leave will be a positive and easy legacy for the youth to understand. It will not be complicated and they will love it because it's so simple. Barbers can need these things. We're living in the present but we're not looking for the future, for the younger kids. The kids have no future and we need a foundation, a medicinal foundation for the kids, not only to heal them, but to teach them all the plants is around them. So life to me is a school, and I want to be the school of naturalness. And again, the question is, why were you born? That's a very serious question. You was born to, admire, to listen to the, to the universe and, and do what the universe wants to do, to maintain the universe so the universe can maintain us.